So I'm sitting in my geometry class, daydreaming about pandas, when suddenly a word breaks through my ravine, pi. Since it's the period before lunch, I instantly perk up at its utterance and search for the beloved treat. But looking around, I couldn't see anything resembling the yummy baked pastry. So I decided to take the chance to actually learn something in class and turn my attention to the whiteboard. There, I find this weird squiggly symbol next to a circle and decide to totally block out the symbol and focus all of my attention on the circle, which I assume was supposed to be the pie that I heard earlier. But listening in, I come to realize that the weird squiggly symbol was called pie, spelled P-I, and was what caused my sudden craving for sweets earlier. Well, moving away from the association of desserts, pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference and diameter, and is numerically known as 3.14 or something like that, but is commonly rounded to 3.14. If you have never taken geometry, you might wonder why this crazy, never-ending constant exists, but trust me, it is important. Pi is most commonly used when trying to find a circle's area, as in a equals pi r squared, or its circumference, c equals 2 pi r which has more applications than those boring problems found in your 50-ton math book. From pies to tires, the world is full of circles, especially since the world itself is a sphere. But in order to keep my promise of moving away from desserts, I will show you how pie can help you in the real world through its application to tires. The other day, I was setting up my new bike computer so I would be able to keep track of how far I rode. In order to program it though, I had to input the circumference of my bike's tire. But all I knew about it was that it had a diameter of 26 inches. Well, after thinking about pi, both the pastry and the numerical one, I decided to pull out my handy dandy calculator and find out for myself what the circumference was. Luckily, the number for pi was already programmed in, so all I had to do was type in 2 pi 13 and press enter to find that the tire circumference was approximately 81.68140899 inches. With this new information, I was able to figure out my distance per tire rotation, which when inputted to the computer, helped me find out my total riding distance as well as my speed, especially after I had the realization that I forgot to program the computer to give my distance in miles rather than kilometers. There you go. This is obviously only one of the many applications that Pi has, but I don't have much time left to show you some of the other ways this constant is used. So I will merely end with a short slideshow of applications. Navigation, used for GPS. Statistics, as found in the normal distribution equation. Signal processing, since 2 Pi is the common period for sign graphs. Orbit calculations. Speedometers, which is identical to my tire example, and the list goes on because circles, cylinders, and spheres are found everywhere. So before you decide that the baked pie is better than the numerical one, stop and think about what the world would be like without pie.